What is going on YouTube? Brandon here. This is a quick update video just showing you guys how to get a custom reticle or crosshair in any game, but in this case, uh, Battlefront 2. Some of the characters have horrible reticles uh, like the Heavy and Han Solo, so this is a good workaround for that. If you're on console, sorry, you're out of luck. So first step you're going to do is you're going to go to customdesktoplogo.wiki.com slash download. You're going to download custom desktop logo version 2.2. Next, you need to download a custom crosshair, whatever you prefer. I uploaded the one I use, which is a circle dot like I found on EOTex and Hollow Suns. So you need to download that. It needs to have a clear background, but any crosshair will, will suffice. And if you have Photoshop and know how to uh, create a clear background, you're good to go. So once you've downloaded custom desktop logo and you've found the image you want to use, then you're going to launch custom desktop logo. So here we go, custom desktop logo. So step one, you're going to go to System, Images, and then you're going to create a folder in here, whatever you want to call it, or you can reuse one of these folders. So in my case, I created a for folder called the Baron Circle Dot, and then I placed the image right here that I had downloaded in, uh, in that folder. So once you download the image and create a new folder in here, place the image in there, and then you're good to go. Okay, so next, you're going to launch Custom Desktop Logo run good and you see mine's already showing up but uh, I'll show you why in a second so to configure this you go to custom desktop logo first step you have to select the image because the default one is not going to be the one you just put in so you're going to go to change folder and you're going to scroll down custom desktop logo system images you're going to find the folder you created and you're just going to click it once and hit OK boom and then that would load that normally um, you can change the layer it's on, you can change the default location, and then you can offset it uh, individually if it doesn't happen to be centered. Uh, you can alter the size. So for example, I can go here, make it bigger. I prefer about 0.13, that's my favorite. And these are just some other options. So once that's all good to go, then uh, you're gonna minimize this and it'll show up down in the tray and then you can go to your game. So you can see it's overlaid in the game. Only caveat being that um, it'll only work if it's in windowed mode or borderless windowed mode. It won't work in full screen mode. It doesn't do an overlay for that. So in my case, I can use, if I want to do full screen, I can use my monitor. It has functionality built in, but this is for those who don't have that functionality. So I'll show you how it looks in game. So the heavy is a good example because the reticle is bad normally. So you can see this allows for a lot more precision and accuracy than the default reticle would. And this is one of the reasons I'm able to get so many headshots, is because I'm able to aim much more precisely. So yeah, I hope this helps anyone who's been struggling, particularly with the Heavy or Han Solo or other characters who have bad reticles. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the battlefront.